everybody and thank you for tuning into another one my second video boop, boop. getting it done okay so um first of all today was the first day of school okay i'm in texas y'all so august is when we go back to school and my kids are at school and i just thank the lord for that okay because i can get so much done when my kids are in school and I can, I'm can i here by myself doing what I have to do quietly without anybody busting in asking me about Nintendo Switch and all of the things the kids do. So thank you Lord for that. But when I was dropping my kids off to school, I noticed um, there was a lady walking across the parking lot. She was one of the many parents that I'm sure took their child inside. And if you have small parents, small kids, do your thing. But my kids, they're old enough to go inside themselves. They, you know, they, this isn't a new school for them. So it was perfect. But um, I'm guessing that's what she was doing because she was walking across the parking lot going into her car. And um, mind y'all, this is the first day of school. <clears throat> You're dropping off your children at a school, right? So she was wearing some booty shorts. why this is one thing that i would like to talk about is the booty shorts because my motto is burn the booty shorts if you're like over a certain age because me i had to burn my booty shorts because i have too much booty for my booty shorts okay i have way too much booty you know what i'm saying so i know for a fact that there's certain things that i don't want to wear when i'm going to certain um settings okay so like the kids school i will put on some jeans and a cute top and like some sandals you know just so i can walk around school or even some cute kitten heels i love me a kitten heel okay so uh which is a low heel for people who are like kitten heel what is that it's it's just a low heel you know something cute though not like a grandma's low heel but um it just makes me think about the progress of what I've done for myself, the process I went through myself and what I want to do for other women. So the women who I want to serve, okay, is evolving women. So, you know, you're maybe in your mid twenties to your mid to late thirties and you're still probably dressing a certain way that you don't want to dress like because by the time you hit that certain age for me I'm just gonna let you know it was when I turned about twenty five that's when I felt like ooh I'm older now okay like okay and then when I turned like 27 that's when I was just like okay no I don't like what I'm wearing I didn't like anything that was going on in that time okay so if y'all hear the Amazon truck so sorry so loud but anyway so um I was when I turned 27 that's when I truly felt like why am I dressing like I'm a 19 year old still or you know like I'm you know just a, a party girl you know freshman in college type why am I dressing like this what am I doing I didn't like anything that was going on in my life at that time at the same time like horrible relationship it was whack I had a horrible relationship at that time um I was working a job that wasn't paying me much money I was I feel like I was borderline depressed nothing was going right and it seemed like nothing was working out for me and it was so frustrating for me so um one random day i decided like let me take my little bit of pennies that i'm getting paid at this job that i'm not getting paid nothing at really um let me take my little bit of pennies and go to a store there was a there's a store that i used to go to that had like all the trendy stuff but you know the trend is like whole clothes right we're in a whole era and it is what it is but i'll get to that so um I went and I went to go get me some new clothes, you know, zhuzh it up. Cause this is when my kids were like super young. Um, so I went to go get some new clothes to just get a fresh look. And I realized later on, cause after like months of doing this, I realized that I was still buying the exact same things that I already had that was no longer serving me. Why was I doing that? I don't know. But when I came to that conclusion, it was when I was, I was at Kroger. And I was there, I was at self-checkout and I was wearing, I don't even know what exactly I was wearing, but I was wearing something see-through, you know, booty hanging out, you know, boobs hanging out. Cause I have a full breast, full butt, like I am an hourglass shape, okay? So I have, I have a body on me. <laughs> Hong Kong too, too, I was just kidding. But I have a body on me and it is what it is. That's just how my body looks. So um, when I was wearing these things, of course I'm 
getting this attention because you know you got everything jiggling and, and shaking and, and poking out and being seen because a lot of my clothes were mesh clothes so um I was getting a lot of attention and it wasn't good attention it was bad attention so this man called me out and I, I remember it to this day he was so loud I was at self checkout which is kind of at the front of the store and he was so loud he was like oh damn look at that ass and I was just like sir is that how you speak to, to women that you're trying to talk to like I don't understand what that was about was I supposed to be like oh my god he said look at that ass I'm gonna go give him my number no ma'am like what what look at that ass thank you I don't know what even to say to that it was so ridiculous and it was so loud it was so embarrassing and that was the straw that broke the camel's back okay I was like no I can't do this anymore like this is not cute and people were disrespecting me left and right like that man that was embarrassing that was so embarrassing but um people were disrespecting me like you know when I needed help in the stores like nobody was rushing to my aid you know what I mean like to help me with this help me to that now it's a whole different situation so what I ended up doing because that was just like a bad makeover I gave myself I wasn't even excited to shop anymore and I love shopping I wasn't even excited because I knew that I was getting the same exact clothes that was going to send out the exact same message that my clothes were already doing so i was being treated the same way i felt the same way i didn't feel confident in those clothes i felt i felt insecure in a way because i felt naked i felt too exposed so every time i was out first of all i wasn't excited about getting dressed because everything that i had was um too revealing okay it was too revealing it was mesh this mesh mesh that um all my cutouts in an inappropriate place and everything low cut everything too tight I hated it I hated it and um it just that wasn't me anymore you know I had grown up I have kids now like if that's not that wasn't what I was trying to convey anymore to the world like I don't like to look like this anymore so um or like that I like how I look now but I ended up uh just taking all the clothes this is how I did the process. I took all the clothes out of my closet that I could not wear to church. Nothing that I could flip to wear to church or figure out like some kind of clever way to wear to church. If I can't wear to church, like, and I go to church, y'all. I go to church religiously. So, um, no, it was just not, it, I took everything out and I had these two big trash bags of clothes and I ended up donating them because you know there might be somebody out there that kind of likes this stuff or it'll look better on or um you know a young girl out there who likes those kind of clothes okay because we are in that era and i don't care if i spend five dollars on a piece of clothing i'm gonna take care of it so they were all in good condition most of the stuff still with tags on it and i ended up just getting all that stuff out of my closet it was like a not only was I cleaning out the closet, but it's like, I, I felt like I was cleaning out my mind and getting myself together. Cause I had to think about me like, girl, you know how to dress yourself well. Why are you, why are you wearing this? What, who are you trying to impress? Cause it's not the person you with, cause he's not worried about you. Okay, let's be real. He wasn't worried about me. So, <sighs> no, I had to completely change it. So once I did that, I just tried to think about like, okay, what do I actually want to wear? What do I actually want to be seen as when I'm out? How do I want to be seen as I'm out in the world? And then I started shopping like little by little for those outfits. So once I did that, and then I started coming to the world as the actual me and, you know, going, just going to the store. Like if I had to go to Target to get some random shit I didn't even need stuff like that like if I um when I did those things it was completely different so at first it felt like I wasn't getting any attention which I didn't care because y'all I was married now okay <laughs> I didn't care about that but um I wasn't really getting that attention but at the same time like when I was getting attention it was like a oh wow oh okay oh that's cute okay and you know some some people would come up to me like oh you look so cute you look so pretty you know are oh, you dressed up which i don't believe in being too dressed up for anything where would you want to wear if i want to wear if i want to go and buy a prom dress today right now and just go i don't know shopping for school supplies today i'm gonna do that i don't care but one thing i am gonna do for sure is before i leave the house i'm gonna look like i should be out of the house okay 
So I don't want to wear the what I call the uniform, um, you know, the biker shorts with the crop top and the slides or the biker shorts with the random sweatshirt in 90 degree weather because we in Texas and the, and the Crocs. I'll be like, girl, what are you wearing? But you know, do your thing. But I, I just, I just feel like when you wear, when I was wearing the stuff that I was wearing before, I was getting bad attention. So I think in my opinion, most of the women who dress like that, it's because of all of the influences around us and you know, the trends, you know, you're kind of following a trend that's really not even for you when you think about it, okay? These are for certain women. I'm not talking to the 19, 20 year olds, okay? The older women, so you know, you're at your late 20s going into your 30s or in your, in your 30s going to your mid 30s, you know? I'm talking to you guys, like we, our brain kind of switches. We can't be, you know, poochified all the time, okay? We can't do that. It's like a, an era of sophistication now. We have to kind of, just go into the new um our new style as we get a little bit older because then we look a little silly wearing certain things at a certain age if that makes sense and the main reason why i hate the influence is because there are women who have this persona i'm i'm gonna mostly talk about women in the entertainment they have this persona they wear these kind of things that are similar to what you see these other women walking around in but you gotta think about something those women are paid to dress like that. They're paid to look like that. And that might even just be them, but let's be real, they're getting paid to do that. Or they're getting paid to keep doing that. Us as normal people, we're not getting paid to look like that. So it just looks silly. I, I just, I had to stop it for myself. I'm gonna speak on myself. I had to stop it for myself. And I know there's women out there who they wanna change it up. You know, they want to change it up. They're ready to get a little more sophisticated with it. And when I say for sophisticated, y'all, I'm not talking about turtlenecks and loose fitting clothes and dressing like a nun. I am not talking about that. I'm talking about you still look good. You still look cute, but it's on another level. It's elevated from what you were doing back in your 20s or when you was 19, you know, fresh in, freshman in college. It's different from that because now we're on our grown woman stuff. Now we're on our own grown woman level now, okay? So that's what I meant by that. Like for me personally, it just wasn't working. And just everything around me, it just wasn't working. So now I am having attention. I'm creating attention for the better. Now people are like, oh girl, where'd you get this? Oh, you look cute, oh, 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 oh. And it's like, yeah. So after so many compliments, I was like, wait a minute. And after doing this for my friends, okay, I'm like, I can do this as a living. I wanna help women. I wanna help so many women who are ready to change their style and ready to change it for the better, right? So I see myself as a future multimillionaire. I can't be walking around in my booty shorts and my mesh top thinking, oh yeah, I'm being multi, millionaires don't walk around like that. Not the real ones. They don't walk around like that. That's not cute. Okay, so you know, you see how we uh, millionaires walk around, they walk around with an understated style, but they still look very stylish, very trendy, very put together, very tailored. Okay, and they, they do have on the designers and whatnot. So that top that they're wearing, let's just talk about the women, that top that they're wearing, wearing might be a couple thousand dollars, but it looks like it's, it's a basic from Target, <laughs> right? That's how they wear things and they know how to have that kind of style and they're not worried about all the flashy stuff and all those little trends that make us women look cheap. They're not worried about that. So um, that's it. I just wanna help women who are on their way. You know what I mean? Entrepreneurs who are on their way. You know, they're just start, just kind of a new entrepreneur trying to get some traction or already has some traction. You know what I mean? You can't go and, you know, pitch for funding for your business wearing, I don't know, a, a tank top from Fashion Nova and some leggings. Who's gonna give you that money? <laughs> I know I wouldn't, me personally, no. And I have a business coach 
I would never ever, I would have never invested my money into her if I just saw on all of her um, pictures when she's on vacation and, and when she's just doing things every day and just talking it in her YouTube videos or her um, Instagram videos. I would never have invested money in her if I just see her always, you know, in a five dollar fashion over shirt dresses no shades of fashion over for real no shade i have nothing against fashion nova um i still have a few things from fashion nova that are actually um not hoochie clothes okay they still they have a few things that fashion nova that's super cute but anyways back to the subject i do not have a problem with fashion nova i'm just saying you have to look a certain way to gain that money that you're trying to get with your business or just like when you go to work if you work at an office job of some sort you can't come up in there wearing darn near a bathing suit you can't do that they will sing you home so fast your butt will be on fire like they will sing you home so fast so that's all I'm saying. A lot of people think that it doesn't matter, but it does matter. You never know when you're going to have a chance to network. You might be going and grocery shopping um, randomly on a Saturday morning, and then you see somebody who could be a client, or you spark a conversation with somebody who could be a client, right? Yeah, you're on your off time, but if you look decent at least, and I'm talking about like, you know, some cute jeans, a cute blouse, and some sandals you can still make that deal with that person. Most likely that person will still be interested in working with you. It's more likely that they'll be interested in working with you when you look decent than when you look a little cheap, okay? That's all I'm saying. They, they will have a little more faith in you. So that's all I'm saying with that. But you know, I love y'all and I can't wait to um, serve you. Whoever's watching, I cannot wait to serve you. I'm here to serve you. I'm here to serve my people, my women, okay? My evolving women who are serious about their style. I'm ready for that. But anyways, thank you again for watching this and watching another one. I'm gonna keep going because the kids are in school now. So I have no excuse not to post content for y'all to see maybe make y'all laugh a little bit maybe go on a rant maybe ramble a little bit i talk a lot if you can't tell i talk a lot so thank you for watching i can't wait to serve you like i said before and go follow me on instagram if you want to i have a whole bunch of stuff on there please follow me on instagram book a consultation with me it's absolutely free 99 it's a zoom 30 minute meeting if you want it to be 30 minutes it don't even have to be 30 minutes but let's connect let's figure it out for me and you i want to do things for the better so you can dress for your future self okay and i will see you in the next one okay bye